Hi there, I'm Sue Wilson and I've got a triple layering die uh, card to show you with the lovely dragonflies and the Tina die down here. This would be great for a guy too, I think, especially in these bold colors. I'll run you through the list of what we'll be using. From our mini expressions, I have the Just For You and we're going to cut that in uh, so we can use it on top of each other. Here is the dragonfly. This is the Tina which is the border we're using on the bottom of the card. From our frames and tags, we have the Millie die, and this one we'll be using in the uh, focal element in the card. And we're just going to use one of these uh, smaller circles, and I'll show you when we get to that on the double stitch circles from our nobles. Okay, let's set these to the side. There we go. So what I've gone ahead and done is I have uh, cut the top layer of the Tina die, which is this one, into the bottom of the card already. And I'm going to use the white on the top, the ruby card on um, the second layer, and then a black on the bottom. So I've just gone ahead and done the second die out of the ruby, okay? And we're going to just put it underneath, because you can actually cut these completely out of the card, or you can use them in the card and layer them kind of in the reverse fashion. So I'm going to use a little bit of spray glue just on the bottom of this card. There we go. And I'm going to take this one and just sort of line this up. I'm going to have to lean into it a little bit just to make sure I get it straight. That's looking pretty good. A little bit high there, but not too bad. Can move that around a bit. Okay, so you can see there's our second layer. And I've just cut a backing on the black. And I tell you what, I can probably just do this with a bit of Cosmic Shimmer Glue around here. Put some right around the edge. And a couple little dots around should do the trick. There we go. And we're going to pop that on behind there so we have the black showing through. Double check, make sure I've gotten it all. There we go. And we've got just a little bit of the glue showing, but that'll dry perfectly clear. So we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Set that to the side. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my backing. I've also used the ruby card and the black as my mats and layers. Bit of mounting foam here. And we'll pop this right down into place. Okay, so that's ready to go. We'll come back to that. Now I've gone ahead and cut the Millie, and what I've done is I've used this piece here, which is the decorative cutting die, and I've just cut it out using the double stitch circles for the outside of that, okay? And I've done a little bit of paper piecing already, as you can see, but I'm going to do a bit more. So I'm going to bring these, what I call little tulip shapes, back in, put a little bit of glue into those sections, and let's see, let's grab one of these, and I think I have found it works really well just to pick up a little bit of a glue dot on the end, and you can pop these right into place. Just hold that and work it right in there. So if your fingers are a bit clumsy, as mine are, then this is the perfect way to do this. And it just seats right back into place. Isn't that lovely? And I've done a thin black frame out of the double stitch circles that I'm going to put around the edge of this. So let me just see if I can get this lined up nice and straight around there. A little bit of mounting foam to raise it just to give it a bit of dimension. That doesn't look too bad. I'm a little bit off here, so. I'm just going to cheat and take my scissors around the edge, trim away a bit of it. As long as you keep your scissors sideways, you won't cut into your top frame, um, and then that won't show. Or you can take a, a dark marker around the edge too, that works well. That's not too bad, and I've got a little bit over here. It just sort of um, catches in the line of the stitching there and makes it easy to cut away. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pop that into place right in the middle of the card. There we go. A little bit of mounting foam. Okay, and I'm just going to put it so that my uh, tulips are kind of, kind of offset there. Get 
that straight in the middle. And I'm going to work on to the dragonflies. Now I've used the same black. Uh, I've used like a, a cream color here and the red. And so I've done the top layer and the bottom layer, or the uh, second layer, excuse me. And now we're going to go in and bring our outside cutting edge in. We're going to line that up. Get it nice and straight. And they're quite thin, so you really have to watch the alignment on these. Don't want to cut into the tail. And a bit there. Okay. Pop that through the machine. Okay. Pick that up. And I might be able to just pop those out of there, I think, from the back. Carefully off of that tape. There we go. And again, untape your die that back on your magnetic sheet. So you can see I've got a really nice base there. I've gone ahead and used that same die that I cut this out with in red for our background and our bottom color. Use a little bit of glue on the back here. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of cosmic to the ends. Layer that up. Get that on there. Let me grab that. It's easier to Get it nice and straight. There we go. Give that a second to set up. Pop that down. I'll tell you what, I'll leave those for a moment. I'm going to work my center section here. So what I've done for this is I've taken the center of the Millie die, which is a circular center. I've used that cut ring and I've used this cut ring. So I've gotten a little teeny layer of frame around the edge there. Now you could have done that in a color. I like the tone on tone, so it just gives it a nice little accent. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into place. That will seat right in the middle there. There we go. And I've cut the Just For You in black and I've nipped it apart. It's really simple to do. You can just follow the line of it. And let's do it with a little bit of glue here. I think I can make this work. I'm going to start, let's see. I think I'll leave this in place and center the middle one and then work outward from there. Just get it where I want it. That looks like it'll work right about there. Put a little bit of glue on this. This is nice. I've got the uh, the little woodware uh, bottles. So I've got my Cosmic Shimmer glue in these with that really fine tip applicator. That will sit right like that. And the U. Put a little bit here. And you just dab it. Like I said, it will dry perfectly clear, so don't worry if it shows a little bit. Pop that one right down below it. There we go. I'm going to come back with my dragonflies now. They should be good and dry. Add a little bit of glue on there and a little bit of glue on here. And I'm going to pop one of them just down here in the corner. And the other one I'm going to put on the side of my frame. And it, these little wings can kind of bend upward a little bit too. Give them some motion. That lovely. A couple of pearls in the corner and there you have it. What a fabulous card that would be for just about anybody. Hope you've enjoyed the video today. Don't forget our YouTube channel and please join me on my new Instagram account which is Sue Wilson Crafter.